Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. What I'm going to show you today is how to jack up uh, a new car in my garage. It's an IS300. Uh, my, my son is going to be driving it and I'm going to be working on it. Uh, so uh, I'm going to need to jack it up. So I figured what the heck, I will show you guys how to jack it up. Now this is from the factory service manual and it shows the jacking points if you come in straight from the front there's a front suspension member that you can get at come in straight from the back there's a differential carrier you can get at and that's what I'm going to use to jack it up today um, on the sides there are pinch welds and there are some jacking points there's two notches two little notches little little bitty notches like the size of a half of a pencil where you you where it's the strong part where you can jack on it however um, if you just put a jack under one of those and start jacking up on the pinch weld you're probably going to bend the pinch weld um, if you've got if you're in a tire store say and they use a swinging arm uh, they either use a swinging arm uh, lift or uh, a tire place will lift along the whole pinch weld here. They'll put a piece of wood across one way or the other way and they'll lift. So they're, they're lifting, they're distributing the weight across the whole pinch weld. But if you just jack on one corner with one jack, you're, you're lifting, well you're lifting that corner but you're concentrating the weight on that one pinch weld and you're probably going to fold it over. Uh, so there's some tricks you can use uh, to get around that. There's a hockey puck. Uh, you put a slice down a hockey puck. I might make one of those for the car and I'll show you if I make one. Uh, you can also buy some adapters for your floor jack. Uh, the adapters would, you would, you take this piece off and you put a little adapter that has a pin in it and it's it's like the emergency jack that comes with the car. It, ha it has a shape, it has a slot in the middle, and it has metal on each side that actually does the lifting. Uh, we're not going to get into that today. Just going to show you how to jack it up. Uh, let's go back to this one more time. Uh, this shows using jack stands on uh, those those pinch welds on the corners. Uh, but remember what I said, if you just put it down on there, you're liable to bend over that pinch weld. You might not, but you might. It depends on how quick you drop it down, probably. So let's start jacking the car. Uh, I've got two jacks here. Uh, the Blue Harbor Freight one is a little lower and lighter weight than the Craftsman. The Craftsman, although they painted it up to look aluminum, but it's mostly steel. Uh, there's fewer probably a couple of aluminum parts on it. Anyway, um, either one will get under the car. If you don't have a jack that's a low profile jack, what you can do is drive up on some pieces of wood, like a 2x4. Just carefully drive up on there and that will raise the car up almost an extra 2 inches. 2x4 is not really 2 inches by 4 inches, but we won't get into that. Um, get it up there and that's probably enough to get your jack whatever jack you have underneath the car uh, let's put some uh, chocks under the front wheels we're going to do the back first okay why do I want to do that well once the back of the car is up in the air you haven't got any parking brake anymore you haven't got it in in gear it's a rear wheel drive car but you haven't got it in gear anymore so you do that for safety. I doubt it would go anywhere. Um, I have jacked up a car without using that, just jacking it straight up and it doesn't really go anywhere, but just do it for safety. Um, and let's get the jack underneath. Mine's got a nice rubber pad on it. Um, if yours is all metal, you could throw a little piece of wood on there if you want to uh, not mark up your differential carrier. So you say, Froggy, what the heck's a differential carrier? Well, I'm shining the light right on it there. It's about the size of a small pumpkin or a, a big melon. 
and uh, it uh, transfers the uh, power from your drive shaft to your left axle and your right axle. Um, so that's what I want to get under. And let me uh, see, and this is where I need three hands. Hold on a second. Okay, I took the light off, but I showed you with the light where it is already. So now I'm putting the jack under there, bringing it up. This is a quick pump jack. I love quick pump jacks. And there I am. Right there. I am on it. So now, uh, with one hand, I'm jacking up. Now I'm also going to, um, when I get most of the weight, well actually uh, I can jack it right up in the air because I've got the parking brake on. I'm going to take the rear wheels off uh, and I'll show you the jack stand points. So uh, I'm going to shut this off now. You don't need to see me pumping it up. Okay, we're up. Now I'm going to get my uh, my breaker bar and uh, uh, break loose these uh, lug nuts. I've got an air gun, but these are such beautiful lug nuts. I mean, I use my air gun on some of my other cars where they have just a, a plain lug nut with a beauty cover on it or something like that. But this one I'm going to be careful with. I, I don't want them to get all beat up with my air gun. Okay, that's uh, Froggy's two-foot breaker bar there, so I don't think that uh, those lug nuts will put up much of a battle. Now let's get that wheel off. Uh, while I've got this wheel off, I thought uh, Froggy would show you a couple of things. Uh, I'm kind of a suspension guy. I always like to uh, make a car handle better rather than give it more power. I like power too, but uh, um, looking at the rear suspension of this car, Here's your camber adjustment here, so you can uh, play around with that a little bit to make it uh, go around corners better. And it's actually also got rear toe. If you look right there, uh, these uh, that's an eccentric uh, bolt that moves that arm in and out. As the arm moves in and out, it moves this whole angle the angle of the uh, of the corner of the wheel in and out so you can tow in or tow out <laughs> you never want to tow out that makes a nasty handling car but you can tow in a car sometimes to get it to put power down um, so we've got a strut here um, we've got a an upper control arm that goes off in two directions there it's kind of like a Y upper control arm or funny looking Y uh, we've got a lower control arm that the shock and the coil bolt to and we've got our drive shaft and we've got these two control arms the one I just told you about that uh, sets the toe and then below that uh, there's another oh, I'm not giving you a very good picture of it hold on a second there there's another um, link. I, I, I would call it a link here. Um, this is like a tow link. This is just a link, uh, a locating link uh, to locate the, the whole uh, rear corner. Uh, so fun stuff, interesting stuff. It's got a sway bar, a um, little a little piece of spaghetti sway bar here. It's not much of a sway bar, but that, I'm going to take that out and the front one out and I'll put some real sway bars in there and probably upgrade uh, the shocks. I might leave the ride height alone or you know maybe drop it a little bit. I'm not really one for slamming a car right down, although my Corvette is pretty low. Uh, but that's really a track car and that's low for handling, it's not low for looks. Um, so there you go. Uh, you can see that the uh, the, the uh, car is sitting nicely uh, on the jack, on the differential carrier. And let me get that other side off and then I'll show you how to lead, let it down on jack stand. Okay, I'm going to show you what I found here. Now this is the designated jacking point right here. You see that little, you see that notch right there that my light is on? And that notch right there. Well, in between those 
two notches is where you're supposed to put your, your safety jack, your tire changing jack, or um, it's it's a jack that has it has like a U shape almost to it, so that the pressure is on not on the pinch weld, but the pressure is on these pieces of metal upside of the pinch weld. Now I'm not going to let it down on that because I think the pinch weld might just fold over. But let me show you what I found. I went underneath here and I pulled off a couple of uh, inspection covers or a couple of rubber covers and I've got like some really big steel pieces here. I've got, uh, you know, that's got to be a an eighth inch steel piece sandwiched together with another smaller piece there. The two, two of them have come together and they're no doubt welded together. I can't see the weld. Um, but that's where I'm going to put my jack. Okay? I'm going to put it right there. And the same thing on the other side. I'm going to let it down nice and easy, and I'm going to see um, see how it looks after I let it down. Okay, we're down. Our uh, our floor jack is out of the way, and uh, you know, nothing's buckling or collapsing or anything else. So I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. Uh, I'll go show you the other side. Okay, here's my other side. I, I didn't pull off the little inspection covers there, but. Uh, uh, Froggy likes that, so when I use jack stands, that's where I'm going to be putting mine up. Uh, so if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you want uh, more from Froggy, sorry I got out of frame there. If you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. See you later.